I'm Molly Gordon. What I know for sure is that at any moment, in every moment, new thinking, new possibilities, uh, unseen, unexpected, unanticipated ideas, inspirations, solutions, possibilities can arise. That the moment I let go of the idea that I need to figure something out from my own history, from my own experience, or that what I already know defines what is possible, the moment I let go of that, new insight, new possibilities start to flow. And I have a funny story about one way that has looked for me. I've had a lifelong intense discomfort with being off center in things that tip or slope or slant that are outside of my control. Skiing scared the crap out of me. Being on uh, very high buses going around corners scared me. Driving along roads, mountain roads, and being on the side of the cliff scared me. Roller coasters were out of the question, and Ferris wheels were so anxiety-inducing and uncomfortable that I gave them up at about age 26. Well, I'm now 64, and a few months ago, we got together with our kids and grandkids to celebrate our birthdays. My husband's and my birthdays are very close together. And Miles said, I want to go on the waterfront Ferris wheel. And I thought, well, I don't. And that wasn't a problem. We don't have to do the same things. I was willing to, to go and sit out. But in the moment I thought, well, I don't, I had another thought. And it was, I don't know that. I honestly don't know if, if I would want to go on a Ferris wheel. I certainly don't know how it would be to go on a Ferris wheel. So we made the date, we showed up at the pier, and as we're turning off of Alaskan Way, left into the pier where the Ferris wheel is, I thought, oh, this is funny. It looks like I might be going to ride a Ferris wheel. And I said to myself, look, you don't know that. You don't have to make yourself get on the Ferris wheel just because you drank the principal's Kool-Aid. And okay, right. So we get up to the ticket window, and in my world, it's not a cheap date. It's like $14, $17, and I thought, hmm, do I wanna go? Yeah, yeah, I think I wanna go. So we got a ticket, we met the kids, we started to load the Ferris wheel. I'm checking, I can't find any anxiety. We get into the car and my stepson says, it can be scary. And I thought, wow. So I looked down and for a moment, my stomach did a little lurchy thing and then it settled and my mind was clear. I had the most beautiful ride and all through the ride, I thought, well, surely, or maybe the anxiety will show up when we start to move. Well, it didn't. Well, maybe it'll show up when we go over the top. That could be scary. Well, it wasn't. Well, maybe it will bother me as we go down. It just didn't. I even moved around inside the car. We had a lovely ride. And when it was over, I thought, well, you know, that probably wasn't a scary Ferris wheel. It's glassed in, it was really stable, so maybe this wasn't a true test of what I can know about myself. So I tell my little sister about it. I said, God, I went on the waterfront Ferris wheel and before I went any further, she said, oh my God, I did that last summer. It was so scary. I freaked out. I had to change seats just so I was looking away from the water. So apparently that Ferris wheel a person could have the kind of experience I used to always have on it. My point isn't that you shouldn't be afraid of Ferris wheels. I don't care. Maybe I will be anxious again on a Ferris wheel. I'm looking forward to trying a roller coaster and maybe I'll hate it and maybe I won't. But what I took away is that I truly 
cannot base and never again need to base my understanding of what I can do in the world and how it will feel in the future to do something. I never again have to look to my past to make that decision. I can always just find out in the moment. And no matter what I find out, and it might be unpleasant, I will always be backed up by the infinite intelligence of life to deal with what arises. And that today I know for sure.